Well, hi YouTube and welcome back to all my Buster buddies. Hey, it's your big kahuna here, Brad, and this is Brad's Board and Busters, your textile art channel. This is a channel where we have fun with fabric. And on this episode, we're going to be doing a real simple pattern. We are doing a flame scrunch shirt. So basically, what we're going to do is take our shirt and scrunch it up. We're going to be doing some zigzag lines and when we're finished with it and open it up you'll be surprised at the flame pattern that you'll have on this shirt pretty basic and simple pattern this is a great one for beginners so what you're going to need for this project is a 100 percent cotton t-shirt white pre-washed and then soaked in soda ash water for 20 minutes spun out in the washing machine so it's just slightly damp and then it's ready to be tied up and so what we'll use to tie it up with is kite string today. And so let's head over to the table. And basically this is gonna be a real fast, easy tutorial. We'll be doing a nice tight scrunch and then we'll be applying the dye and then it'll go into the curing tub for 24 hours. And then we do a washout and we'll do a reveal. All right, let's head over to the work table and let's get this thing done. All right, Buster, so I've got my shirt all prepped here and I turned it inside out. I got my kite string ready, scissors, so I'm ready to go. We're just gonna make little tight scrunches as tight as we can, starting in the center and working our way out and then it'll be ready to tie up and then they'll be ready for dye, so. Enjoy the music, and here we go. Let's start scrunching. cat hair. <laughs> okay, I'm all scrunched up nice and tight. I like the try to keep everything as consistent as far as, you know, the way it looks as far as how tight it's scrunched is pretty consistent. So, and then I pushed it together to compact it as much as I can. So now we can start tying it off. Leave yourself a long enough tail so you have an end to tie off to when you're done. And when you tie this, you want to try and tie it up fairly tight, but not so tight where it collapses onto itself. So just hang on to it and control that as best you can.
Okay, that is tied off. All right, let me get myself ready for the die and we will do that next. Be right back. All right, before I start applying the dye, let me go over the colors that I'm using on this project. So it'll be bright yellow, orange sorbet, Chinese red, and new black. All right, just watch me apply it, and when you do yours, just kind of follow along in the same fashion. Just enough black. <laughs> Almost didn't make that. All right. That's it. So yeah, you just want to do three little streaks of color. Those will turn into our flames when we open up the shirt. All right, so that's done with the dye. So this is going to go in my curing tub for 24 hours to cure. And I'm doing it in the house because it's too cold out in the garage. You want your projects to cure at around 70 degrees if possible. And for 24 hours minimum. After that, I will take this out to the laundry sink and we will do the rinse out and I will start with cold water to flush out the excess soda ash and then turn it up to hot to get rid of all the excess dye that hasn't bonded to the shirt. After that, it'll go in my laundry and be washed on hot with detergent and Curalon, which is a professional textile detergent from that I get from Dharma Trading Company. And then after that, it'll be dried and we'll bring it back in here for the reveal. So we will see you at the reveal. Have a good one. Okay, Buster Buddies, so here we are. Here's our flame shirt finished. Yeah, it came out just right. I really love it. So you can see why you do the three individual little lines of color. And then when you open up the scrunch, it gives you this really cool flame effect. Yeah, this one's a big winner. I really like it. And I kind of like the way the black didn't fill in solid. 
Yeah, I was running out of uh, dye. I don't know if you noticed that in the video, but I kind of like the way this looks as, as opposed to solid black up here. Yeah, no, I really love this. It came out just right. So, hey, don't be surprised if you see me wearing this in a future video because this is my size. I love it. Hey, if you really like this video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Share it around. Yeah, this is a big winner. Give it a try. This is a fun one to do, real easy. All right, hey, let's head over to the desk and we'll do our sign off. All right, Busters, that project came out really cool. Hey, I hope you learned something new on this project. Hey, if you really like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming projects. And hey, if you really want to help out my channel, go to my Buy Me A Coffee page and buy me a coffee. That really helps me out. Hey, all right. Thanks for watching. Love you all, folks. Peace out, baby, and go bust out some art.